guys, I'm Sarah from 19 Menorah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a map given to me by a very special friend. I don't really know who gave it to me, but um, basically it has the coordinates to a very special treasure and all I've found so far is coal in a freaking chest. So this cannot be the treasure that I'm looking for guys. So let's have another look at the map real quick. And the coordinates are, well, let's have a look, 6, 3, 4, okay, so according to this map, it's this block right here and all I have is a pressure plate, so let's whack that down real quick. And it reveals a real treasure, guys. Oh my god, that is freaking amazing. Diamonds in it and everything, guys. Very cool, shout out to True Trees for finding this. And oh my god, I crave for some crayfish today. I don't know why. But thank you guys, uh, this build is amazing. I changed it a little bit and you'll see why in a minute. But uh, so what we need for this contraption, if you want to build this, you might want to get out five sticky pistons, seven uh, redstone pieces. Um, and we need seven repeaters, one pressure plate and some blocks of choice. Also, we need a slime block and a torch. Okay, we have pretty much everything we need. We need rails and a minecart with a chest. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the difference between this and the other build is that I'm not using a pressure plate. I will end up using a a button and you'll see how that's possible. So when you stand on that, it'll come up to the to the top. Uh, in my world, it's a flat land, so I can't dig any deeper than this. So this is actually the ground level. So keep that in mind when you build this in your survival world. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to start here. So put a pr uh, sticky piston facing up with a repeater with one, uh, two ticks right into it like this with a block of choice and redstone dust on top of that and a repeater on two ticks once again. So just, oh no, no ticks. Leave that one alone, guys. So a bit of redstone dust right behind it here. And let's see what else we need to do. Okay, so come around the front where the piston is and put your slime block right here and count one block away and break two blocks in. So this is where you're going to need two sticky pistons facing up and put two repeaters facing into those and another two facing the same direction. So put all those on two ticks. There we go guys, this is amazing. So we're nearly there. So let's connect this up by putting a block of choice here with a torch on the side and you'll see that sticky piston react. That's poor you think. Okay, so now all we need to do is come around to this side here, where you can see here. Put another sticky piston facing up with a block of choice right next to it. Then you want a repeater facing out on two ticks. Okay, so now all we need to do is get out a block of choice and whack that on top of the sticky piston. One behind it, one up like this, one over the top, break that block there, and put a bit of redstone dust here and here. Okay, so get out your block of choice, put one, two, right here, and break from one up, right here. Okay, so now that we've done that, I think we're pretty much done here. And whack your torch on the top, and get a sticky piston out, and face it towards you like this. With a block of choice in that vicinity, and we're done! Oh yeah, so let's connect our redstone up to our pressure plate. So this is where it changes a little bit. Instead of having the stand on your pressure plate, um, you can actually hop off the pressure plate and react it by standing back on it. That's the only difference and I thought that would be a little bit better for more control so you can get to your chest if it's further away. So as far as ways you want, I'm just going to have it three blocks up here. Put a block on top of that redstone dust and your pressure plate. So I'm going to have it nice and close. But guys, you can actually have that pressure plate really far away and it won't go back down until you stand on it again. So that's the difference in this build. So let's just cover all this up with some dirt blocks. And this is going to be the ground level. So in survival, you guys can dig a lot deeper than what I can, so... Yeah. Alright, so cover this up with either a chest, a tree, or some branches, or something. Okay, so it's completely hidden. Okay. And put a... Alright, we can, ch we can leave that for now, so... We can either change these blocks so you can't see. But we'll leave it like that for now. Okay, we need to do one more thing before this works, guys. We need to put two blocks on top of these. So one here and one here. And now we're done. Now it should work perfectly. We need to put a rail right here and a cart with a chest on top of the rail and just whack it there like so. There we go. Okay, let's check it out. Let's test it out. Yeah, it works really well, guys. I'm, uh, I'm amazing. Okay, so let's put all the stuff in that chest. We don't need them anymore. And see how it's not going down? 
That's awesome. So you can have your you can actually have your pressure plate really far away, and you can take your pressure plate with you and run off with it. So no one knows where it is hidden, completely hidden if you want it to be. So let's replace this with a. Now that it's like that, we can replace it with a button. So let's do that real quick. Get out a button. Uh, first, we'll just hide this block here. So let's get rid of this. Put a dirt block there. And you might have to mark on your map exactly where the location is, or you will probably lose it. That's how well hidden it is. Okay, so I've put a block here and a button on top. Okay, so you can use that button and you can bring up your treasure. You can access your treasure and take it and then put it away and then take your button with you. And it's kind of like a key. So you can collect it and run away and no one will ever know ever ever and if you guys like this tutorial there's many other tutorials so subscribe for my latest tutorials and please share this video with everyone you know it helps my channel grow